Hi everyone, once again, I am filming this video real quick. I'm not gonna edit it, I'm just gonna post it. If you haven't seen the video that I posted yesterday, I suggest watching that first. Um, I posted that video yesterday around 1 p.m. when everything was just kind of speculation. Um, and now it's confirmed that OnlyFans is going to stop allowing porn and sexually explicit content on their platform. And before I get into this, I want to say I am kind of at a loss for words right now. I am having some emotions right now. Um, but I just appreciate everyone that's watching this and even cares to hear my thoughts about it. If you are someone that is looking to make fun of sex workers or performers, whatever you want to call it, that are hurting right now, that's a little scary. Um, you know, it's, it's not the influencers Tana Mojo that doesn't show her, you know, down there. Corinna, who is making a million dollars. Like, it's not those influencers that you see in the headlines that are making millions of dollars that are being affected by this. It's real people. It's people <laughs> that have children. It is people that need to put food on the table. It is people with, sorry, someone started calling me. It is people with disabilities. And it is people like me. I'm not rich by any means um that is being affected by this so if you have it in your heart to make jokes and say subway is hiring and whatever the hell you want to say i think this is a lot more about you and what you need to work on than the people that you are commenting that at so yeah i wish that i could have an upbeat tone in this video but i just can't uh i've been on OnlyFans since april of 2017 so that's four and a half years that I have been posting and I will say that my OnlyFans is pretty tame but a lot of my content falls under what is no longer allowed and I'm filming this on my phone so I can't pull up what they sent but they sent out an email um maybe I'll put a link to it down in the description since I'm not going to edit this but basically what they said is that anything that is considered offensive <laughs> so you can show fully nude but if it's in an offensive way not okay um you can't touch yourself you can't touch others just basically anything that is considered pornography you can i can sit right here and i could take a picture of my boobs and i could put it on my only fans but if i was caressing my boobs if i had a sex toy in it it'd be a no and so weird but like the last couple months i have definitely toned down my content and I started posting things that are, I guess, a little more tame. And so, like I said, a lot of my content that I've been posting lately, I guess, is considered okay. Um, but that's not, that's not how I'm making most of my money. And that's not how the average creator is making most of their money. Like, people go to OnlyFans to watch porn. People go to KFC to buy chicken. Like, it, it's that simple. Um, and sorry my thoughts are just kind of all over the place right now but i spent like four hours today talking in this twitter space i think that's what it's called with other performers and this was before the news broke i didn't even know until people started sending it to me that there was an email sent out um and we were just kind of like talking providing support everyone that was what or everyone that was speaking sorry speaking and listening um such an angel like it, it was so great to talk to my community during this time and um we were just discussing like this sucks and we were discussing what to do next and that's something that sorry i keep looking i keep getting twitter notifications i'm like looking to the side um that's something that i have been asked a lot in the last 24 hours is where do we go next and i have to say that i don't have that answer for everyone individually uh, i think it's really it's up to the individual, you know, because I could recommend the site that I camp. Sorry, I just had something pop up. I could recommend the site that I cam on, but like that might not work for you. I could recommend the site that I text people on, but that might not work for you. Um, it's really different. And if you're looking for something that is, I swear this umbrella is about to fall on me. <laughs> I'm not going to edit. I'll just leave it in. Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. I'm, I'm not feeling too great right now i just had four years of work just bye <laughs> um 
if you're wanting something that is similar to OnlyFans, I will say, you know, it's hard to drive traffic to other sites. It is. It just is because these men, they, they don't want anything that takes effort. They want it fast. And that's why OnlyFans really took off is because it's like you put in your card, you can subscribe to five girls, there it's fast. Um, don't give your information to these little sites that are popping up and like poaching girls and being like, hey, like we have a hundred percent payout for the first, you know, whatever. Don't do that. Um, because you don't know who's getting your information. That's something that we talked about in that Twitter space is that you need to be really careful because there's a lot of people that will use this as an opportunity to get models. There's like bugs flying around me. Get models and get their information. Don't. Um, I'm kind of laughing at all of the websites that are coming out and being like, hey, we're offering 80% payout. We're offering 100% payout. Oh, so you guys are showing us that you could have paid us more this entire time, but you chose not to. And you're choosing when we're all hurting and we just like lost a major source of income to give us more. Oh, okay, cool. So you could have done it this whole time. Thank you so much for using our pain to your advantage. Like sick business move. Um, and yes, that is shade. <laughs> I am just, this sucks, you know, it does suck. Like, I want to laugh and I want to be like, fuck you guys, fuck everyone that's talking shit. But, like, people are hurting right now. Another thing that I've been thinking about is, like, I wonder all of the people that, like, the influencers that um, started OnlyFans and they were making, like, $50,000 a month. And then they started living like they make $50,000 a month. Like, what are they going to do now? Like, those penthouses, the lifestyle, like, that's not cheap. And I'm not like concerned for them because obviously they have other ways to make money and they're not like the average sex worker. But like, I do think about that, you know? And also something that I see a lot is people saying, like, this is why you don't put your eggs in one basket, like diversify your income. And I think my friend Layla posted something about this earlier, saying that that is kind of like ableist because there's some people that like physically cannot handle having multiple platforms. And I completely agree with that. I completely agree with it and I didn't think about it that way because I am someone that has been like diversify your income don't put you know I've, I've said that those exact words and I didn't realize that yes that is really hard for people it is because it's hard for me and I can only imagine if I was in a different position it's not easy a lot of people just want one main site to focus on and for those people like you know people are asking where are we moving next like I mentioned you really just have to try out different sites and see what works for you. Talk to people in the community, talk to people that you trust, you know, um, and just see what your next moves are. I don't know, I'm like, I'm gutted right now, to be honest. Like, I feel sick to my stomach. Like I haven't even, I have not even eaten yet today, except for coffee, maybe that's why I feel sick. Um, Cause this is fucking stressful. And then there's this, I like don't want to cry because I know that people are going to laugh and they're going to be like, look at these OnlyFans girls crying. But it's like, imagine if you worked, I mean, I worked fucking four years on this. Like I'm, I wasn't like an Instagram girl that started this during the pandemic and like, you know, used the sex industry to make money. Like I, I was a sex worker before OnlyFans and I'm going to be a sex worker after. Um, this community existed before OnlyFans and it will continue to exist after literally the oldest fucking profession like <sighs> but yeah there's this part of me sorry back to what I was saying where I'm like you know what I'm just gonna use this as a chance to push harder and I have my own website um I'll get to that in a second but I'm gonna like film some bomb ass content this weekend for my website and I'm gonna start really pushing my website and you know, I'm just like using this as a chance to push forward, get through it. I'm going to cam, like I'm going to do all the things. And that's like, ideally, like how I want to react to this is like, fuck you. Didn't need OnlyFans. Like, but then like, I'm only human. I am only human. So something that I'm really going to try and I want you guys to try if you're personally affected by this is like, let yourself feel these emotions let yourself feel what you're feeling right now you don't need to go to another site today 
you don't need to go to another site tomorrow. Like you can take time and feel these emotions. Like you're hurting. You can continue using your OnlyFans as usual up until, you know, up until everything changes, if that's what you want, like if that's what you can do. Um, and so, you know, a lot of people are, who are feeling good, <laughs> don't have mental illness like me, are posting, you know, telling everyone to, um, you know, get their head in the game. And that's just not possible for some people. It's not, and I think we have to be sensitive to that, but, you know, also encourage everyone to move forward because like I said, the industry existed before and it will continue to exist after. Um, I know this video is kind of everywhere. Yesterday's was definitely more thought out because it was like a, more of like a what if, like today's more of a, hmm, great. So I highly suggest watching yesterday's video if you've even gotten this far in this one. Um, I have my own website. It is thelydialove.com, like the, T-H-E, lydialove.com. And that is a website that I had someone build for me. That is my website. A lot of people are asking me, like, how did you do that? And I will say it costs thousands of dollars. And I know that a lot of people aren't in the position to do that. Whenever I started it, I, re I wasn't in the position, but um, yeah. So sorry I just like lost my train of thought so I don't want to like come out here and be like everyone build your own platforms it takes so much more work like for me to upload something on my website it's a little confusing like it's not as user-friendly as OnlyFans was um something that we have to remember though is that literally every single dollar that you made on OnlyFans is because of you they have no internal traffic I think that's the correct word no internal traffic they did not do anything except for provide a platform. Any money that you made, you did that. You did the marketing, you did the promo, like you, <laughs> my dog just like <laughs> eating a flower behind me. Um, you did that. They didn't do that for you. They didn't promote you. It's not like a cam site where someone can just find you by chance. Like you did that and you can continue to do that. And obviously me saying this doesn't make this feel any better. I still feel awful <laughs> but I just want you guys to remember that this isn't the end of your career this is a major setback though and I would suggest don't read the comments on like you know news articles about this because people are they just lack basic empathy for women and especially for sex workers and they're kind of like haha this is what you get and it's like Everyone I know that has a good life, that is like making great money, that is happy in their life, fulfilled, that doesn't do sex work, supports <laughs> sex workers. Sorry. Um, I've never, you know, the only people that I see making fun of us are like degrading us. They don't, they're not happy. They, they hate themselves, they hate their job. And that's just what it is. So we're gonna see a lot of that. We're gonna get a lot of people thinking that this is funny. You know, I feel bad for them. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm sad, guys. Like I am sad. Not even gonna front. I'm not gonna pretend like I don't have emotions, and that I'm just gonna boss the fuck up and get through it. Like this sucks. I'm gonna be fucking sad today. Like I'm probably gonna take tonight off cam. Go out to dinner. I don't know. Hang out with friends so I can not just be like stuck in my head and stressed about the community because it's like ugh, I feel like I'm about to cry because it's like I'm just so overly empathetic towards other people ugh. because like I started in this industry as a survival sex worker I wasn't always an online sex worker like I don't talk about that part of my life but like I wasn't always an online sex worker and I'm just gonna leave it at that for now and this just makes me very worried for my community and for the people that are not as fortunate as I am because I have a lot of advantages that other people don't. I've been doing this longer than a lot of people. I have a big support system and a lot of people don't have the privileges that I do. And so when I'm thinking about this stuff, it's like, it's like there's a wall where like I'm really stressed about myself 
but I know that I'm okay. Like I have OnlyFans is like only 20% of my income, you know? And the, the larger portion of me is really stressed for my community, really stressed for the people that I know that are not in the position that I'm in. And I don't know, I guess I don't need to rant about that. But this fucking sucks guys. Um, I don't want to make this video too long, so maybe I'll post a part three tomorrow. This is my YouTube. I can post whatever the fuck I want. I kind of like gave up on trying to get views on here and I'm more just posting like what makes me happy. Um, yeah, I'm going to go like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go about my day. I'm going to try to give support to my friends that I can. Maybe I'll FaceTime some of them right now. And that's all I can say for now. Support sex workers. Even if it's not me, if you have like a favorite sex worker, like support them. Give them your support in the form of money. <laughs> but really like educate the people in your life about what sex workers are going through. Maybe, you know, if you're watching this and you're like, I don't feel bad for them at all. Maybe learn basic empathy and Thank you for watching, guys. Um, this sucks really bad. So, yeah. Bye, guys. I'm just going to upload this. <laughs>